Cal Rambler here. Today we're going to do this Springfield Armory 1911. We're going to break it down, show you how to do all the internals and trigger, trigger sear. We're going to clean it all up and we're going to put it back together. So this is the cleaning of Springfield 1911. So today we are going to be disassembling a 1911 fully to the frame. First we're going to field strip it and then we're going to take the trigger out and the trigger sear and the hammer and the grip safety and everything. If you wanted to replace these parts, this is a tutorial on how to do all of that. It's a full disassembly down to the frame. First what you want to do for a field strip is push down on this here. You're going to rotate it to the side, it's a lot of spring tension pretty difficult. There you go. That spring will come out. Put that to the side. Then you rotate it back the other way. And you pull this piece out. Wiggle it up. There you go. Now, what you do now is you rack the slide back Pull the hammer, cock it, rack the slide back. This is the catch to catch the slide back, say if you were out of ammo and the slide catches back. This smaller indent is the disassembly catch. You want this lever right here to be lined up with that. If it's not, it's not going to work. You want that right there. Now you're going to push from the back here with your finger. It's going to pop right out. Now you're going to rack the slide off. Spring comes out from the back. Barrel comes out from the front. Set all that aside. Now, you're going to want to take the grips off, protect them, makes the job easier. Got some nice wood grips on this one here. Set those to the side. Now, what you're going to want to do next is get the safety out. You can push right here on this pin, and you're going to have to wiggle it while you're pushing. You have to make sure to be careful that this spring doesn't fly out. There's a spring holding tension on this lever here. So wiggle carefully like that comes out here's the spring set both of those to the side the grip safety is loose now what you're gonna do next is pull well actually you want to pull the mag release out right there so, you're going to push on it, push on the mag release with your thumb, or pointer finger, however you want to do it. You're going to put a screwdriver right in that little slot right there. You're going to turn it a half turn, it pops right out. <clears throat> then, you're going to pull this, uh, this tensioner out, this piece here, is 
held in by this pin. You wanna make sure you push this pin out from the indented side. So, a lot of spring tension on this. Start it. I like to push down on the table, pop it, and then we're just gonna push that out and this will be free. So now that I have the pin popped out, I've got this screwdriver setting it. I'm gonna put tension on this, pull the screwdriver out, and that will be loose. Tons of spring tension there, you can see all that. Now, the parts in here go exactly like this. The arrow points down towards the bottom of this. And this cup here points up to catch that. The small little lever here that is connected to the hammer, you can see. And there you go. Now that I release the trigger, the grip safety comes out. Put that aside. Next, you're going to take out the trigger shear uh, spring. If you're having any problems with light striking on your primer, this could be the issue. It could be a little less tension because of wear and tear. Um, you're gonna wanna replace that if that's your issue. It's a very common issue. Now, two last things. What you're gonna wanna do, on the left side of this gun, there are two pins right here. You cannot take them out from this side. You have to go on the right side of this gun. They should be very easy to take out. Push them. This is for the hammer. Should slide right out. Hammer's out. Now this is for the sear. Should be super easy. They're all held in by other parts. Now, I'm gonna take this pin out straight and this all should fall out. Here's the sear. Let me work out the, uh... there you go. assembly if you want to replace your trigger at this time simply slides out very easy slide new trigger in I'm not doing that I just put a little bit of oil on the sides of those slides tiny bit you don't want very much and it moves very nicely now what you're gonna to want to do here is this curve here goes towards the front of the gun, right? So it interacts with the gun just like that. And this, you can tell by the bevel on the back, goes towards the back of the gun, and it interacts with this piece just like that. It can be pretty tricky to get lined up in the gun Actually, this goes like this. Just like that. Flat side of this back bevel towards the gun. Back side of this bevel towards the back of the gun. This goes into that hole right there. Now, I like to drop it in upside down. Let's see if I can show you that. There we go, that went smoothly. 
Sometimes you'll have to fiddle with it, but that is installed. Let me hold it in. You can see the top of that there coming through the frame of the gun. <clears throat> now what you're going to want to do is install the pin for that. That is the smallest one. It has to be installed on the left side. Oh, you don't want to let that come out. It's hard to get aligned. So we're going to get it all the way up here. I'm going to use my pick to help me align that pin. Easy. As long as it's aligned. Now, what you're going to do after this is install the hammer. The hammer and the strut. This strut interacts with the mainspring, but we will install that later. First, we install that. That's this hole right here. Make sure you're lined up. Again, from the left side, you can see this has a little bit of a bevel on it. And it will not go in from the other side. There we go. Nice and flush. If it's not flush, you didn't do it right. Now what we're going to do is install the sear spring. If you are having trouble with any light striking of your primers, it could be your sear spring. We're gonna install that just like this. Well, this piece right here, you can see it comes down about 90 degrees, and goes right into the slot, right there. It's not in the slot, it's not where it needs to be. Now you're going to make sure you hold that in. Now, you're going to want to place your grip safety over this strut, just for now. Have it installed. What you can do to make it easier, actually, is yeah, just put that sear spring back in. You want to put that main spring back in the main spring housing. There you go, bunch of spring tension. This cup here interacts with this strut. You're gonna wanna get that strut lined up with this uh, mainstream housing cup. There you go. Lined up very nicely. You're not going to be able to install this unless the grip safety is fully pressed in. Right? So, to make this easiest, you're going to want to put the actual safety lever in just enough to hold the grip safety in. See? Now, if you just push up on this right now, you will not be able to get those holes aligned. You have to push this in, and that is how you're going to get the holes aligned. Now, to get the pin in at the same time is a struggle. I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. Now that we have that, I'm going to give it a couple taps and it should pop right in. No problem. Grip safety works fine. Now, we're going to take that back out, put it to the side, and we are going to reinstall the mag release.
from the right side. We'll put that in. It's a very small screwdriver. You're going to want to press the mag release all the way flush with your pointer finger, however you want to do it. See how it's out dented right there. And you're going to have to give it a quarter turn while pushing on this screwdriver here. Can be a little finicky, but there you go. A quarter turn clockwise. And now I'm pushing on the mag release with my pointer finger from the left side, and it works fine. There you go. So now you want to reinstall the safety. Make sure your grip safety is lined up. Remember, you're going to have to fiddle with it. But you have to get this spring in. It's the hardest part. Rotate it down. Long side of the spring it goes towards the back of the gun. The skinnier, tapered, shorter side goes towards the front of the gun. Now, you're going to have to compress that spring. I'll put this on the table here. Compress it with this screwdriver here. We'll try to work it in. You're going to have to have the gun cocked for this. There you go. See how I was pushing down and I pulled the screwdriver out right away? If you had a really thin screwdriver, it would probably be easier. But this works just fine. Now, you're going to want to check the function of your gun. Make sure you didn't install anything incorrectly. So, first, obviously, trigger pull. Make sure the hammer releases. It does. Now, you're going to want to make sure the safety works with the grip safety. Nothing. Safety off. Nothing with the grip safety and it releases that's about it now this is now back to field strip field cleaning level this is what you have to do most of the time you don't usually have to disassemble the whole frame of the gun and all the innards so what you do first I like to assemble the slide. Barrel in from the front. No more oil. Oil this. I already I've oiled everything already. You oil right here to make sure it doesn't interfere with this and cause any unnecessary damage. You want to oil this, the outside. You also want to oil here and here. If your gun ever starts jamming when it's fully assembled and you're shooting it, you want to throw some oil in here. And you also want to put some oil right around here. That should fix you up for the time being. So you want to make sure that's all oiled. Not too much now, but you want to make sure that's all oiled. So, put the barrel in from the front, put the spring in from the back. Make sure this hole here is not all the way back. We'll make it up. Then we're going to slide it onto the frame of the gun. Hold that with your finger. Go. And this slot right here, this tiny little half moon, is the disassembly slot, and it has to be lined up with this, else it's not going to work. Now, 
you're going to want to put the slide catch back in. The slide catch here goes through this hole. If it doesn't go through this hole, the gun will not go back together. It's not going to work. So, you're going to want to slide this through. Put the reassembly slot where it's supposed to go. And then look through this hole and put the barrel where it needs to go. I'm going to do that right now. There we go. That's lined up. Okay. Now, this takes a lot of force. You have to push really hard right here and push up really hard right here to get it to pop past this spring. There you go. You see it takes that spring pressure now. It will lock back up into there, pull the slide back, push it down, and let the slide release. Now, to reinstall this piece here, put that in. It's got a notch right there that has to go into the bottom of the barrel. Just like that. Then you slide it all the way to the other side. Just like that. <clears throat> you reinstall the spring cap. A lot of pressure here. Make sure this doesn't go flying. And watch your finger. I like to keep my finger just on the edge of this. So you can really pinch yourself here. Just like that. Now, I'm going to reinstall your grips. I like to start them with my fingers. Make sure you don't strip it. These don't have to be insanely tight. And that is a fully reassembled 1911 A1 from Springfield Armory.